We light this flame to celebrate our diversity, working, loving, and living on the side of love together. Hi friends! So we are continuing our reaching out and love theme. So today, the story I have is We Are One by Jennifer Black. <clears throat> title page. Okay. We are all one, but different. Different, but the same. Created by the one life, we are each given a name. Flower, girl, cat, lamb, boy, and rabbit. Some of us are insects. Some are animals too. It's a lot of different insects and there are some of the animals I bet you guys know the names of them, right? Like there's a butterfly and there's a dragonfly and a hippo and a lion. And the lion's face kind of looks like a heart, right? Some of us are people just like me and you. We all share the same moon. We also share one sun. We all live on planet Earth. The air we breathe is one. Some of us live where it is cold. And some of us live where it is hot. Some of us live in the deep blue sea. Some of us live in one spot. So one thing to remember is we are all one, but different. Different, but the same. Created by the one light, we are each given a name. And if you know the names of these things, say them with me. Sun, dolphin, cow, lion, spider, butterfly. Some of us are fluffy and some of us are tall. Some of us have feathers. Some of us are small. We all have different feelings, right? Anger, sadness, surprise, happiness, love. We all make different sounds. Buzz, buzz, quack, woof, meow, hello, oink, moo. We all see things individually. Well, that means like with our own eyes like what makes the world go around, right? Some of us think love makes the world go around. Maybe you think a guy riding a bike makes the world go around. The light that shines within our hearts is the love that makes us care. Creating a world that is full of miracles in a universe we all share. So one thing to remember is we are all one, but different. Different, but the same. Created by the one light, we are each given a name. Rainbow, earth, dog, pig, elephant, moon, cloud. Walk lightly on this sacred land. Bless everything that you see. The light of love glows everywhere. And every rock, every being, every tree. The end.
right, friends? So remember, we're all different, right? We all have a few differences, but we're all the same, right? We're all created by the light. We're all given names, okay? So try to remember that as you're reaching out in love this summer, okay? See you next time. Hello. Today, we're going to talk about the Unitarian Universalist chalice that we use to symbolize our faith. Do you know where the first Unitarian Universalist chalice was used? Do you know why you use adopted this emblem to signify our faith? What does it mean? Today, we're going to make a chalice out of objects we have at home. So I've seen really um, creative ways of making a chalice by drawing it on paper, knitting a chalice, um, and then using an LED candle, um, painting, making one out of felt, uh, a wire hanger, um, Legos turned into a chalice. So basically all you need is some kind of a cup or a saucer and a stand, a, a stem. Um, so you could use an upside down cup and a saucer or I'm going to use a planter pot and tray, which we use in our classroom sometimes, and turn it upside down with the saucer on top and carefully place a tea light or a candle, or you can use um, an LED light. And while you're gathering materials or coming up with an idea, um, I'd like to read to you some of the answers to those questions. So, the symbolism of the chalice is about hope, a warm community, and uh, the light of reason. So the first Unitarian Universalist chalice was actually adopted to be the official symbol in the 1980s, so not too long ago. Um, and they also used two circles coming together to show how it's Unitarian Universalism is rooted in uh, Christian values, but also has room and opportunity to form new opinions and evolve forward. So I like to think of the Unitarian Universalist Chalice as a reflection of our values and a safe or comforting symbol that I know um, people will have similar principles and values to my own. And, um, or at least the idea and desire to talk about our own opinions and share them with each other respectfully. So this says that the many congregations around the world use a chalice as a reminder of those who gathered together to carry the warmth of human community and the light of truth with them throughout the week, which is why we light it at service together. Ralph Waldo Emerson said that divine spark is a manifestation that lives in each one of us and that when we extinguish the flame, it actually becomes born in the heart of each person and we carry it with us until we meet again. During the World War II, people would put the symbol of the chalice in their window or special places to show a safe space for people seeking refuge. And the artist who actually designed the first symbol was a Hans Dutch, who was um, an artist in Austria in the 1940s and we've adopted this symbol and evolved it to make it special for each congregation or community um, as it represents the fire of commitment. So I'd like you to think about again, what does the chalice mean to you and how you can have one at home in your brave space. 
So the neat thing about this pot is I can actually use paint or markers and make it my own. So I think I'm gonna draw some special symbols on here. How are you decorating your chalice? What materials are you using? Right now I'm giving mine stars. So let's light our chalices together. You can do it um, in your mind's eye or along with me with a parent safely. We light the flaming chalice to create a sacred space for worship, prayer, meditation, and singing. May it be so. Blessed be. ¿Cómo están? Esta es mi hermosa gatita. Se llama Monchi. Vamos a ver qué hace Monchi. ¡Miau! Hola, hermosa gatita. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Y cuéntame, ¿qué vamos a hacer hoy? No sé, ¿qué podemos hacer? Yo quiero contar los números hasta 10. Muy bien. Vamos a contar las dos juntas, ¿ok? A ver. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Y diez. Miau. Adiós, amigos. Nos vemos. Adiós. Friends, we invite you today to participate in this challenge activity that you can do at home with a partner or by yourself with a mirror. You'll need a piece of paper, a writing utensil for, for drawing, and a timer. So from the kitchen or on your cell phone. Um, and the idea is to build hand-eye coordination and um, connection. So the we're going to set the timer for one minute and you can draw an object like this teapot or something that is important to you or today Peter and I are going to draw uh, portraits of each other. So set the timer for one minute. And we're going to do a continuous line drawing whilst looking at either the object or each other that you're going to draw. Okay, let's see how this goes. You've got your materials? Ready? Begin. Good. Okay, then we have the eyes. Oh, no, uh, uh, 
Maybe over I only here. have two eyes. Oh, okay, and then the third eye. Uh, uh, move your face. That's cheating. Then we oh, oh, time's up. Great. Fantastic! It looks just like her. Don't you think? Love it. Oh, that's beautiful. So, <laughs> how did yours come out? <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this activity. Take care. It is our work that we share with each other that creates and sustains beloved community. We extinguish this chalice, but its flame lives on together in our hearts, our minds, bodies, and spirit. Amen. Namaste. Blessed be.